Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee and I do some arts and crafts using acrylic products and I also do some craft kits. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how I did this cute little scrubber board as a gift. This is the September subscription box that I have available and we're going to make all of these little scrubber pieces out of acrylic and paint them and you can decorate them to your heart content. So let me jump in and show you guys what we're going to do to create this cute little frame. So in your craft kit you will get 25 of these little tiles for Scrabble and you're also going to get your bisque gel paint and then some acrylic paint. This one is chocolate and it's like pearlized. I'm going to use this brush to create um, like the wood grains on the little tile pieces. First you need to remove all of the protective film on the one side. Um, this is a project of love, I tell you that, uh, but the person who's going to receive it is going to absolutely love it, I am sure of it. Once you've had all of those removed, I'm just going to grab some of the acrylic paint and you really do not need a lot. You'll see in a sec that I actually scrape the paint off the little tiles. So grab your paintbrush, dip it into the paint. Um, the amount that I've taken there is way too much because I don't want it like that but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue dragging the brush over I'm just taking another tile to do that one dragging it over so I can create lane, lines sorry, that looks like wood grain now I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the pieces like I was saying the kit comes with 25 little tiles but you will be able to purchase some extra tiles because I know some people have more names than what will be on my one so go ahead and just finish all of those uh, little grain lines and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that we've painted all of those and let them dry, we're going to paint with the bisque on the back. Now I'm doing this with bisque and the brown, uh, the chocolate brown, but you can use any color really for your tiles. It doesn't have to be the bisque ones. I just wanted to have that wooden effect. So I'm just painting on the gel paint and I'm doing a really thin layer. Now with a gel paint, it's better to do thin layers and multiple layers than try and do thick layers because you will have problems with that. So make sure that you do thin layers. I did, I think, two layers on each of these tiles. Like I was saying earlier, this is really a project of love um, and to be honest I loved making these now removing the protective film off the front and just look at that that looks so adorable and I love the fact that the uh, chocolate brown paint is pearlescent so it gives a little bit of a shine so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the protective film from the front of all of those little tile pieces and then we can add the letters on <laughs> Now that we have all those pieces done and dusted, we're going to start adding the letters to them. So in your uh, kit, you're going to get a whole lot of letters already cut out for you. You will get two of each consonant and four of each vowel. You will also get a link for the SVG so you can download that for free and then cut out any additional letters that you need um, or for any future projects. So first I started by lining up the tiles on this ruler. And to be honest with you, you can stop. If you're trying to do that now, just stop it. It's just a waste of time. Um, you'll see in a sec, I will actually remove the ruler or move it around and then just remove it because it was in my way and I didn't like using it. I just thought it would be easier to line it up. Now for the vinyl pieces, you're going to get two pieces of transfer tape in your kit. You don't need any more than that to do the, the letters. I've done all of these letters um, with just those two little pieces because um, you can just reuse them. So all you need to do is do a reverse weed, add your transfer tape to your little letters and pull back so the black stays behind and the letter itself comes off. And the reason why we do it the reverse way is because those numbers are so tiny, if you try and weed it first and then pick it up, you are going to move where the numbers are going to be and you're just going to put yourself in a lot of pain um, and frustration. So just, just do the reverse weed. Take my word for it. 
So again, I'm trying to line them up first because um, I thought that that's going to be the best way to do this. Yeah, it's not. So for the numbers, make sure that they're in the bottom corner, just like you see on Scrabble pieces, and then that will help you to line them up. The letters should be in the center, so it's quite easy to do. And um, once you've, see there, I told you I'm going to remove it. <laughs> once you've got the little number down, just pull back on the transfer tape, and then you can use that same piece of transfer tape again. Now here you just can weed out that little center. So if any of the other letters that have pieces that you need to weed out, you can just grab them and weed them out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of all of these little letters and numbers. Um, just make sure that you do the reverse weed and just reuse your little transfer tape. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all of these off. Now that we have all the letters on the tiles, we're going to start to assemble the whole piece all together. So grab your frame. For the craft kit, the frame size is an A4 size that I've included in the craft kit. It's just an IKEA frame. Um, I tested the inside just by using an A4 sheet of card. You can use any color card that you want to. I just use black for my one and I just want to find the center there so I know where my letters need to go and for that I'm going to measure if you use a A4 size from left to right your middle point is going to be 14.7 centimeters so just mark it at the top there and then go ahead and mark it at the bottom so you can draw a line you will uh, erase the line later so don't go too hard on it especially if you do it on some lighter card just do a faint line I tried to do a faint line on here and then that didn't quite work as well so I needed to give it a second go um, and just make it a little bit darker so I can see the line once you've got that line drawn you're going to do from the other side so on the other end your middle point is going to be on a 10.5 centimeter so just mark again same process just mark at the top 10.5 centimeters turn the card and 10.5 centimeters on the other end and draw that line once you've drawn the line you now have two straight lines that you can use as guides as well as a center point which is where you will start with your tiles and there we go now I'm just going to follow my plan and I just use the Excel spreadsheet to plan out my names. From top to bottom your maximum is 10 tiles on A4 and left to right will be 15 tiles and you need to find the middle so mine is on my name and the S will be the first letter that I'll start with because it's the middle of the middle of the middle of this one. I'm just using some glue dots to stick mine on but you can use a glue gun if you wanted to. Um, so you would also have noticed if you are a follower of mine on TikTok that I didn't use any clear stuff on these I didn't use any clear stuff on the back because I know I'm just going to stick them down anyway nobody's going to see that and I didn't seal the fronts because there's no need to do that so there you go I've put the S is just underneath the horizontal line and it's in the middle of the vertical line that is where my center point is and now it's quite easy now you just follow along and just add the letters on um, as you go biggest step I can give you is do one name at a time because then you can just link it from that name and go to the next one. I refer back to my plan every now and again just to make sure that I've got all of them and then I'm going to go ahead and just stick all of those uh, letters down and finish off the design. <music> there you go guys look how gorgeous that is just imagine getting this as a little gift mine is up in my house i absolutely love it now you can in these blank spaces do some other design if you wanted to i'm just going to leave mine blank because i'll come up with some idea later on to add to it um, and then i've got that space so i wanted to show you guys how i remove the protective film from the acrylic front cover for these frames to avoid any uh, fingerprints so i remove a small corner on the one side and then i use that as like a little handle to pull the side off um, where I'm pulling it off and then I'm going to place the frame down 
lay the acrylic sheet over, lift that corner, and then use the tri or the transfer, the protective film from the other side, just to hold it down to avoid getting any fingerprints. Now, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I actually have removed my acrylic sheet because it just reflects too much. You can't really see the letters. You don't really have to add that on. But that is the little gift done, guys. If you liked this little craft, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Drop me a comment below if you've got any questions. But there she is, all done. You can see all the reflections. It went a bit crazy. Um, yeah, I couldn't find a nice angle to show you guys. Hi. Um, so, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this cute little gift for Christmas. Mm -hmm.